Hey guys, EpicCG here with yet another tutorial on how to make your very own custom gamer picture packs. And of course, these are absolutely free because instead of buying them on Xbox Live, you are adding them to your hard drive directly from your computer. And the two programs we will need is Export and Modio. And if you're wondering why I'm using Modio, Modio has its very own gamer picture pack creator inside of it. That is a lot better than the gamer picture inje injector. The gamer picture injector. Yeah, there you go because it has a lot more gamer pictures on it for when you search because it's being constantly updated by the updaters or dev team or whatever controls Modio and it's very good so with that said make sure that you have your USB or hard drive hooked up to your computer once you get your gamer pack picture made gamer picture pack gosh you can't speak today get it made and I'll show you how to do that later. But let's open up Mario to begin with. Let it load. Alright. Now with that open, we can close out of Shoutbox and News. Very annoying. I don't like those windows. And let's click on the big M in the top left hand corner go down to other tools and go to gamer picture pack creator and I'm pretty sure most of you would have found out where that was in the first place if you had just gone searching so but I told you anyways <laughs> and once you have that open we can just search for any game we want and we can get the gamer pictures from it and as you might know because I have told you once in one video that I am a good Halo fan so let's put in Halo 3 and to choose your game and get the gamer pictures, just click on Halo 3 and go down to Get Gamer Pictures. And it'll load a whole list of available gamer pictures that are on their little database that you can probably get off of Xbox Live anyways. Alright, once that's done, I'm not going to let you guys just see Halo all day, so for you guys that like Modern Warfare 2, let's get some of those. There we go. There you go. Select Modern Warfare 2 and click Get Gamer Pictures. And it loads all of these. Like, for example, we got little helmet Master Chief down here, up here, and then down here you got the Tet Prestige icon that you obviously see a lot of t J tagging Tet Prestige hacker or scammers um, go through and have. It's very annoying. I hate getting scammed by those guys. So, to choose these gamer pictures that you want, you can either click like select all if you really love all these pictures and you just want to have them. But if you chose that you had a, made a bad idea, you can just click deselect. Those are just some nice little ones. Or you can clear the list if you think it's you chose the wrong game. But I like the ones I choose, so I'm going to go select some. And as you see, if you could just click one, it'll bring up a little check mark in the corner. That means it's selected. And if you just click it again, it'll go away, so that means it's deselected. So make sure you just select some ones that you want. I'll select that and that. Let's do that. And scroll down, do that and that. Ooh, and the nuke. Chopper gun and AC-130. Alright. Got the ones you want, for now. Just a little... I just chose a couple so I could show you guys how this is done. So once you have all the ones you've chosen that you want to keep, go to Save Pack. And uh, this is going to save it to a gamer picks pa a little folder that's saved on my desktop for good keeping. And you can just name this file whatever you want. Don't mess with the file type; it'll probably screw it up. So just change the name, and I'm going to do GPix. Simple to the point. There you go. And click save. And it'll create the pack. There you go. Successfully created. Now you can close out of Mario. Let's drag this little folder here. And if we open this up, you can see GPix is on there. Now let's open up export. Or um then this is where you USB people can go off and go put this file on your USB drive. But for those of you with hard drives, here's how to do it. Now make sure your hard drive is connected to your computer through either the silly transfer cable or with SATA a SATA connection in your computer. And I do have a video tutorial on my channel how to take apart your hard drive entirely and take that hard drive and hook it up to your computer 
directly with a SATA connection, uh, like a SATA cord and a power cord, a little CA power cord. It's very easy, it takes 10 minutes, you can look at it on my channel. Again, subscribe if possible. So once you have it, uh, it should recognize it easily. So once you recognize it, once it, eh, once the program recognizes it, click OK. Open up your device, go to Partition 3, and let's go to Content. And this is one of the few videos that I will tell you that you can actually open up this All Zero file, because usually the game mods don't require that. So let's open up the All Zero file, and go down to, now as you can see the descriptions and stuff, go to the one that says Dashboard Data, Gamer Picks, Themes, and Profile Data. Don't go to the one that says Profile Avatar Data, go to the one that says Gamer Picks, Themes, and Profile Data. Open that up, and go down to 0002000. 000 000 000. Two is the key number here. Three is themes, nine, I don't know, and A, I don't know. But two, that's your gamer pictures. Because when you open it up, there's the gamer picture files. All down here. And here's some other ones that I've done already for testing purposes. So once you have that open, open up that little folder, or wherever the file is, and drag and drop it into export. Load, there you go. And if you cannot drag and drop stuff into export you may have to disable your user account controls if you were on Vista or 7 Windows Vista Windows 7 or and you just need to run as administrator that kind of stuff so once you have that on there you can close that export you're done with it and now it's on your hard drive now I'm going to go to my Xbox and show you guys that these work and how to access them and change them for your personal profile I'll see you guys on my Xbox Alright guys, I'm on my Xbox, and here we go, I will show you how to add these gamer pictures to your profile. Or they're already on the profile, but how to apply them as a gamer picture. So, make sure you're on the My Xbox section and go to your little profile guy. Go to Select. Go down to Profile. Go to uh, Edit Profile. Go down to Gamer Picture. Then go to change. Now there are two things here: change the personal picture. The personal picture is what your friends and you see, and the gamer picture is what everyone else sees. All the people that aren't your friends and they're total strangers to you. So you can change both of these to anything you want. They can both be different. So I'm going to change the gamer picture, and you can just let wait for all of them to load, and scroll all the way down, and here we are. As you can see, here are all of the gamer pictures that we have. Now, these are per other ones that I've gotten before, but here are the other ones that I got, that I just put on there. Like, here's the AC-131, and I'm going to set the nuke, for example. Just select it, and then there you go. Now, you can always change the personal picture for something else. Just let it load, come on. I'll scroll down. <laughs> Here we are. And I want to change the personal one to the helmet. And see, there you go. Now when it shows up on your little gamer picture, on your gamer tag, or whatever, like if you click on this, it'll have that little helmet. It'll show your personal one, but the gamer one is what everyone else sees. So your personal one, it'll show that when it shows your little gamer tag. Alright, that's how you do it. That's how you make your very own custom picture packs for use on Xbox Live. See you guys next time.